We hope this video will help you connect your Oki printer to your PC. And for written instructions, just go on to our website. If you have a CD-ROM in your PC, just insert the Oki disk and go into your control panel to search hardware and sound. Then select view devices and printers and you should see your Oki 332 here. But if you need to add a driver, let's just head over to okidata.com, support, drivers and utilities, and color printers. There you will select your 332 Oki printer. Now let's add our operating system. To view yours, just go onto your PC into Properties and you can see your system details there. Now we'll head back to okidata.com, select Operating System, highlight your system from the drop-down menu, and now we're ready to download. Underneath Driver, you will see the black download sign. Let's go ahead and download this file. It'll take a little while, but you'll be able to watch it in the lower left corner of your computer screen, where you'll also be able to see the name of the file. Once the file has finished loading, you can use the drop-down menu to go to Show in Folders, and this will take you to your downloads where you can see the printer in that download folder. Once you see the file, just double click it so you can extract the file. Feel free to follow the Oki pop-up, but if for some reason that shouldn't work, let's give you another way to extract the file. go back into your computer under the control panel. Then under devices and printers you want to click add a printer at the top. Go to add a local printer. Then you go into a port and select a USB connection. Then click Next. Now you should be able to see your driver under Drivers just click it to install it. And now it's time to take her for a drive. Oh, and I've also included some written printer settings at the end of this video for your convenience. In Google Images, before we even started searching for an image, we went into Tools, Size, Larger Than, 4MP, this will give us the sharpest and clearest image to transfer. Then we just saved it to our desktop. Next we went to Show in Folder from our desktop and right clicked the image. This will open the image in Paint and that's where we're going to find all of our printer settings. In Preferences, select Oki 332 as your printer, then go into Size and select A4 as your paper size. Next is Source and select Multipurpose Tray. And then finally into Type where you will select Labels. We're almost ready to print, but first let's talk about mirror image. If you have wording on your image, you'll want to go into rotate, flip horizontal, and mirror that image. And finally, so we don't lose any square inch of our transfer paper, let's go into page setup and adjust to. Here we can choose the size we want to print. 
Now just press OK and print and this is where the fun begins because this is what you're going to hear. Please remember to load your paper with watermarks down and press the blue button in the multi-purpose tray so it will clamp your paper. Then press the online button on top of the printer. Make sure the rear tray is open so it can receive your beautiful full color image. And there you have it. As always, everyone, we appreciate your business and you're very important to us. Hope you enjoyed this and have a great time with your printer and your crafts. Bye!